Jacqueline Friedman, Unscrewed, Women, Sex, Power, and How to Stop Letting the System Screw Us All. Welcome to the world of Unscrewed by Jacqueline Friedman, where you'll uncover the often unspoken truth of modern women's lives and the systems that continue to demean, objectify, and rob them of their rights. This book summary helps us delve deeper into the plight of women, particularly those from minority groups, who face an unbearable history of mistreatment and dehumanization. Discover the rise of Foxpowerment, a popular fallacy that falsely claims women are now completely free and liberated. Join us as we expose underlying misogyny and outdated attitudes that still dominate our society, affecting women in the realms of media, reproductive justice, and sex education. Mistreatment and Dehumanization of Women in America Women in America continue to face inequality, injustice, and limitations to their freedom and liberty. Minority groups, such as Native American and transgender women, are especially vulnerable to violence and mistreatment. Native American women, in particular, have the highest rate of rape in the United States. Black women also suffer disproportionate injustice, with a long history of dehumanization and mistreatment. Young black women with a history of sexual abuse are far more likely to be in prison as a result of the abuse they have endured. This mistreatment is rooted in society's perception of these groups as different and dehumanized. This must change to ensure the safety and equality of all women in America. The Myth of Foxpowerment Despite the progress made in women's liberation movements, women are still oppressed in numerous ways. A major trend in recent times is foxpowerment, the false notion that women are entirely free and liberated. The idea of foxpowerment is often used to distract from the underlying misogyny and traditional attitudes still prevalent in society. Examples of foxpowerment include Fifty Shades of Grey and the Spice Girls. Despite being marketed as examples of female empowerment, they still perpetuate male-dominated relationships and objectify women. The profit generated by these supposed empowering movements often goes to men, further perpetuating existing gender inequalities. It is crucial to understand that true gender equality involves more than superficial changes and catchy tunes. The Complexity of Female Sexuality the objectification of women in media and the difficulty of embracing one's sexuality is a constant struggle. Women are commonly portrayed as sexual objects, which undermines their intelligence and complexity. An experiment shows that women who feel like sex objects have a harder time focusing on cognitive tasks. Although some feminists frown upon women who work in sexualized industries, women should be able to choose to embrace their sexuality without shame. It's important to distinguish between a woman who is openly sexual and one who is being sexualized and not jump to conclusions about their intentions. Women's Sexual Empowerment Women have the same right as men to enjoy sex. Society, however, has commodified sex with men often viewing it as something they can purchase from women. Women, meanwhile, are often kept from exploring their sexuality due to shame or insecurity. Sexualized media images and products do not help the situation. It is crucial that women understand their right to enjoy sex and find ways to empower themselves sexually. The Rise of Religious Right-Wing Politics The book discusses the rise of the religious right in American politics and their influence on women's rights. It traces the movement back to 1976 when Bob Jones University lost its tax-exempt status and how the focus shifted from defending racist policies to condemning abortion. The book also highlights the Religious Freedom Restoration Act, which protects discrimination against those who don't subscribe to religious rights values. The book sheds light on the troubling tactics used by the right-wing religious factions to bully women who dare to make decisions that are in their best interests. Reproductive justice, more than just abortion rights. Reproductive justice movement aims to win the right of women to control their bodies by taking into account various factors that affect them, including access to healthcare and economic circumstances. It is about changing the entire system, ending rape culture, and eliminating the sexualization and objectification of women. While abortion rights are a critical component, 
they are just a part of the big picture. Fighting for reproductive justice means helping people change their perception of women's rights and recognizing inequality in all its forms. The Importance of Comprehensive Sex Education In the United States, sex education is often focused on abstinence, which does not properly prepare students for healthy sexual relationships. This approach also increases the chances of underage pregnancy. The Netherlands has implemented comprehensive sex education, resulting in one of the lowest global rates of teen pregnancy. It is crucial to teach consent and tackle toxic masculinity by instilling a healthy attitude towards female pleasure. Schools should focus on teaching both boys and girls that women have equal agency, especially since the porn industry has become the biggest instiller of toxic masculinity. The goal of comprehensive sex education is to prepare young adults for healthy sexual relationships and reduce unwanted pregnancies, making it a vital component of education. The book Summary of Unscrewed by Jacqueline Friedman highlights some of the glaring issues and challenges faced by modern women in all aspects of their lives. By shedding light on the problems faced by minority women, folks empowerment, and the co-opting of female sexuality by the media, we can begin to recognize and fight against these systems of injustice. Additionally, understanding the roots of reproductive justice and the importance of rethinking and improving sex education can help empower women and create a more equitable society. It's time we put an end to outdated attitudes and take a stand for the rights and dignity of women everywhere.